today over to Chiang Rai. We've been here in Chiang Mai for five days, I think. And it's time to do a similar trip over in Chiang Rai. This is very exciting because Chiang Mai is the only city we've ever explored in Thailand and we've been here twice. So we're finally venturing out. So we're going to take a bus that I think takes three hours. But first, we had to get coffee one more time because who knows when we'll be back here. Now it's a very quick lunch and then on to the bus and then on to Chiang Rai. Let's go. All right, we just had to stop at our favorite Thai restaurant one last time for lunch. We're here at Good Local Thai. Come on. Well, you can tell it was a successful lunch because I have little dots of cow soy sauce all over my shirt. But it was so nice. We told them that it was our like last day here. The sweet ladies, they were like, okay, well, have a good trip. Where are you going? And I feel like we have little friends. Not little, they're grown women. I feel like we have friends here in Chiang Mai and that is precious. And maybe when we come back, they'll recognize us again. That'd be nice. Anyway, we're running quite behind schedule, so I'm walking way too slow. We need to get going to check out of our hotel on time. We're already four minutes late, and then hop on the bus. Jump on the bus. I don't know about all that. There's a green bus out there. Alright, let's go get on the bus. on the bus so we ended up going with green bus we booked directly online and we got the VIP buses so it's very spacious there's TVs there's like these soft very comfortable very spacious leather seats and all in it costs us like eight USD per person one way I'd say well worth it so you can definitely get cheaper but we're going with nicer and it's still very affordable so we'll see y'all there in three hours green bus but we were asked if we wanted a taxi like immediately when we got off. They were literally standing in the doorway of the bus. Anyway, so, but we're gonna try and walk. So let's do that now. air pollution levels in Northern Thailand, Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai have gotten to very unhealthy levels. Um, 
I got a little app that tells you kind of what the particulate matter is in the air. It's bad this time of year. We're coming here trying to beat it, but nonetheless, it's here. If you're coming in the dry season to Northern Thailand, and I believe Northern Laos as well, in like mid to late February, March, April, May, get you some masks, the N95 that'll block the particulate matter. I had to put it on because my sinuses and stuff are just killing me. So, just like I should know that. checked in, got our paperwork signed. We're at the Happiness Hostel in Chiang Rai and so far it's really cute and everybody's really nice. I'm just really glad to be here, honestly. <laughs> I want to chill. Which is funny because I just sat on a bus, but you know, it kind of takes it out of you nonetheless. One more. Yeah. All right, we can do it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. And this room has a free service. It's a uh, tea and water. Okay. Oh, it's free service. And had I are living in a bar scene. Okay. okay. Great. Perfect. We've gotten into our room. It's pretty spacious. That's really nice. Uh, we're at the Happiness Hostel, but the amenities are very hotel-like. Doesn't feel like a hostel at all. Feels like we're one of the only ones here. Got a nice bed, trendy little light bulbs, little seating area, TV, bathroom, shower, and a separate um, water closet. That's nice. Anyway, that's like our room tour. The place is super cute. I'm tired now, so if y'all don't mind, we'll see you in the morning. Okay. Only for my family would I buy maybe five pair of pants. They want elephant pants from Thailand. I'm gonna drag them all over Southeast Asia. That is like a lot of extra articles of clothing. I just want them to know. Love. I will bring them to you.